I'd like to welcome everyone, family and friends, to the 2017 Burleson Adventist School Christmas program. And uh, there's just been a lot of work that's uh, gone into tonight's program, and we really know that you'll enjoy um, the, the singing and, and all the music that, uh, that the students will present this evening. Um, I'd like to go ahead and, and start off this evening with a word of prayer, so if you could bow your heads with me. Father in heaven, we come before you this evening, um, coming to, to sing praises to you and and also in honor of your son, Jesus Christ, who was the greatest gift that was ever given. And um, uh, Father, we ask for you to be with us this evening as we enjoy the music and, and fellowship with, with each other as well. We pray for um, just all of us to, to just have an enjoyable Christmas holiday. And um, uh, we thank you for, for your love in Jesus' name. Amen. I just wanted to give you a little heads up today about our program, and I wanted to tell you, as I saw some parents rushing in at the last minute and children getting here, and you weren't sure if you were going to make it in time, and oh my goodness, the stress, that I know your life. I do. I live it. I know your schedule. Your holiday bliss this week may have included one piano lesson, shopping for Christmas program, outfits complete with red bows, two basketball practices, approximately 2.5 million texts and emails, four choir practices, one Christmas program, an office party, three basketball games, and multiple doctor's visits for a newly broken finger. So I just described at least 90% of you, hopefully minus a broken finger, right? I know what you need and what we all need and crave. We need simplicity and calm. I love the magazine Real Simple. Have you guys seen that in the stands? One of my favorite things about it is that it always has one picture. And as you leaf through the pages, it's very peaceful because there aren't a million new things you can buy this week. There's one thing with like a basic background. And you're not distracted by all the things going on. Tonight, it is our goal to strip away the billion, the billions of things on each page, to take out the distractions. The goal is to deliver a peaceful leafing through the pages of an age-old story that changed the world and changed our lives. We will do it without cute little sheep running around. We will do it without shepherd and angel costumes and without our unanimously voted most missed of the year Peyton in a donkey outfit. <laughs> we will put the glitz and glimmer aside and simply bring you the story of a loving God who sent his precious son to show us how to love and how to live forever. We hope that your lists and your schedules will fade and his presence will draw near as your beautiful children use their talents for God to bring you closer to him. Enjoy. Christmas is here, 
day, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town. Uh, so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judah to Bethlehem to the town to the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went he went there he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. I'm 
sure he must have been surprised at where this road had taken him. Cause never in a million lives would he have dreamed of Bethlehem. And standing at the manger message from the angel come to life and joseph said why me i'm just a simple man of trade why him of all the rulers in the world why here inside this a strange way to save the world to think of how it could have been if Jesus had come as he deserved there would have been no Bethlehem no lowly shepherd Joseph knew the reason love had to reach so far, and as he held the Savior in his arms, he must have thought, why me? a strange way to save the world. Now I'm not one to second guess what angels have to say. But this is such a strange way to save the world. This is such a strange way While they were there, the time came for the baby boy to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and put him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them.
see. And for the child born that night to be alive. Eight, and for Holly, and and his name. R is for rejoicing and gladness and joy. for money and God with us. S is for a star that led down the wise man to him. T is for the truth and grace that will send her away. M is for Mother Mary laying him in swaddling clothes in a manger. Uh, A is for uh, angels singing sing songs of joy. S is for salvation. And there were shepherds living out in fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night.
angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. But they were terrified. But the, the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests.
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger.
his love and his gospel is peace. Chains he shall break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all of these things and pounded them in her heart. While the old ones may go Tales of how it used to be China dolls Candy corn Painted wood and toys Treasures found To the wondrous sound Of caroling the Savior Born to us on Christmas morn
May the Lord our God be with us as he was with our ancestors. May he never leave us nor forsake us. I just want to say thank you for letting me be able to work with all of your children every single week. It's such a pleasure to work with your kids. Um, you guys sounded great. You know, my job at BAS is I am the music teacher, but I have to say I can't do it alone. There's no way I could accomplish everything by myself. Um, so I just have to say a huge thank you to Pastor Chris and to Mary Haslam. Um, just huge, huge thank you. Well, thank you for joining us for our, our Christmas concert this year. And hopefully you can take something from this. Like we said at the beginning is that we want to take away from the fast pace, from the busyness of this time of year, and simplify things. Remind us why we celebrate this time of year. Well, after prayer, we have a wonderful reception across the hall in the Fellowship Hall. But first, would you please bow your heads with me? Shh, guys, we gotta pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, Thank you, Lord, thank you for coming, and thank you for dying for us. Lord, thank you for this time of year that we can come and celebrate you. Lord, not that we want to forget about you the rest of this year, but Lord, we thank you for this time of year that we can focus so much on you. Lord, thank you for each and every one of these families, each one of these kids that are part of this school. And Lord, be with us as we go our separate ways this evening. Thank you for that for everything you've given us, and Lord, help everything that we do be for the glory of you. In your name, amen. Thank you very much.